Welcome or welcome back, I'm the Ink Archivist, and today I'm doing a belated review of the Diamine Inkvent 2022 Calendar's first ink. So if you're still planning on getting this, and it's there's some good deals out there right now if you are interested, uh, click away now if you don't want the spoilers of what's going to be in here. So I'm taking an X-Acto knife and I'm going to loosen up the box around day number one's ink. This is a little tricky, the cardboard's a little bit tough, and as you'll see later, the plastic around the ink itself is also uh, a bit of a doozy. <laughs> so, at least you'll know when you get these, uh, everything is very secure. So, the day one ink is called Bliss. It's a very beautiful standard ink, so it doesn't have any glitter, uh, it's not a chameleon, it doesn't have scent like some of the other ones in this collection will. It just has a little bit of green to it, so it's kind of a, a slightly teal blue. So I thought this would be a good pairing for my Sailor Pen of the Year 2022 Soda Pop Blue, which is uh, also another nice vibrant blue color. So I'm just going to be putting that in this pen, and that's what I'm going to have for the writing that I'll show you in a little bit here. This is an extra fine nib and it is a Japanese extra fine so it is extremely fine. Kind of like a western needlepoint. So next I'll be showing you how readable it is on a page and I'll be doing that with a notebook therapy dot grid notebook that I've filled up with a page of notes in that diamine bliss color. It's hard to tell sometimes just from like a swab how it's going to look on a full page and get a grasp of the readability. I would say for this ink it's pretty moderate in that category. For someone who really needs like an almost black super dark ink, I don't think this is going to work, but I feel like for the vast majority of people this ink is quite readable. And then next, we'll be swabbing the ink on four different papers. I have Tomoe River. I have an HP printer paper that I'll link below. It's a little bit more fountain pen friendly. I have Apica, and lastly, Rhodia. I found that, as you might expect, there was a bit more property on the Tomoe River paper. And things like the printer paper kind of sucked the life out of it, so did Rhodia. Also, I don't know where the spots on that Apica came from. It seemed like there was some sort of coating or something left on the paper. That has nothing to do with the ink, so don't worry about that. As for the properties of this ink, it is a slightly teal-leaning blue with a very minor amount of shading. But other than that, it's pretty standard. There's not a whole lot going on with it but I do think that the color is very pretty. It is very similar to another color from Diamine, and I'll show you that in a swab comparison later on, but hopefully this gives you a sense of what it's gonna look like on these different papers. So now we come to the writing sample. So I have my Sailor Hokuro with a 2.0 nib to start with on that title. And that'll really give you a sense that there is a little bit of, sh of shading to this. This ink is pretty moderate on wetness. It isn't particularly dry or particularly wet. It just has a nice flow to it and um, it's quite standard in that regard. The sentence that I'm doing here, I have the hook row fine nib for, and then the second sentence for the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog, <laughs> the standard line, is with the extra fine sailor pro gear slim. After that, I'm just going to show you three inks by each other. So first is that diamine bliss. Second is the ink that it's startlingly close to, Diamine Steel Blue. And as you could see when I just put down a single layer of the Steel Blue, it looked almost identical to the Bliss. I think what's happened here is they've put in a dilution agent into the Bliss, and it is the exact same color as that Steel Blue. There's no official information on that, but 
that's the impression I'm getting here. The last color is J. Arban's Blue Pepe Vanche. I'm sorry I'm butchering that, I'm sure. And it really made it stand out for me how much the Diamine Bliss and Steel Blue were like each other, but also how different blisses from a kind of normal standard blue color. And I think that little added bit makes it so much more interesting. So as I show you the swabs one last time, this time finalized with the names, my personal thought that I'll offer to you is that I think this is a really fantastic ink. It's a little bit of a departure from a normal blue, and I definitely could see myself getting a full bottle of it. So let me know what you think of this color in the comments below. I'll be uh, happy to hear it, and I hope that you have a great day.